this is my first conference, so unlike Pat and, and Barry, clearly this is the first presentation that I'm doing, so bear with me. Um, so I work for a team called Global Portfolio Solutions. We are effectively fiduciaries or outsource CIOs for DB plan pension plans. Uh, we work with plans here in the U.S., both public and private, as well as internationally, um, in the public and private space. And what I'm hoping to do today is just give a little bit of flavor from a practitioner standpoint or another practitioner standpoint on how we interact with plan sponsors, how we think about managing DB liabilities in terms of a risk architecture uh, and an investment management standpoint. So I'll walk through a little bit of how we think about quantifying risk in the DB space, um, especially around managing volatility in terms of um, both cash flows as well as funded status volatility, and then how do we actually apply that in, in a case study example. Uh, and then we can touch a little bit around the risk architecture that we tend to use in, in these types of problems. So to start, I think where we begin is with pension strategy at large. And here, I think rightly so, the idea of pension strategy is, has changed pretty drastically over the last decade, decade and a half, uh, in terms of the experiences that people have had both on the investment side in terms of how their assets have performed, as well as how liabilities have behaved um, in terms of the level of rates coming down and, and where rates may go from here. And broadly speaking, where the, the focus has shifted is really towards de-risking. Um, so no one really looks at assets on a standalone basis and tries to maximize return. Everyone is in some way nodding or taking a look at their liabilities and, and understanding how does it impact funded status, how does it impact cash flow, how does it impact income statement. And broadly speaking, I, I put four different types of de-risking strategies on here. Um, the one that we've mentioned a little bit already, lump sums, when you talk about a GM who used to be a pillar, an industry leader in terms of how they manage their assets, really turning the corner and, and doing both lump sums and effectively a, a, a partial termination of certain.